Hey guys, Dom here, back with another game of Gwent, but before I start today's match with a Foglet's deck, I'd like to personally say thank you for all those who have subscribed. We've hit 50 subs, that's awesome. I never thought I'd even hit 10, but we did it anyway. You know, we've hit 50 subscribers now, and, you know, I mean, I'm not going to bother setting a next milestone, because even this is surprising. But yeah, thank you for all those who have subscribed. Um... Yeah, basically, we're going to be playing a Foglet deck today, by the way, you know, I'm just going to take away from saying thank you now, because that's just getting a bit lame, um, but yeah, we'll be playing a Foglet deck, and it's just going to be like, you know, your generic Necker Warrior to kind of get out more Foglets, and then see how long it takes for us to like get an army of Foglets, and let's see how this goes. Alright, as you can see, we're up against another Dagon deck. Hopefully they're not just doing what we're doing with Foglets. They'll either be doing a weather-based deck, which is quite unlikely after the recent nerfs, or they'll be doing a Death Wish-like deck that I did in my... in a previous episode. I can't remember which one it was now. Alright, we're gonna open up with the Selena Harpies, just because, you know, they're pretty sexy. Pretty awesome, you know. Running out of things to say about them. They're gonna copy us, so... We're going to use, um, we haven't got any Necker Warriors, so that's quite bad. We'll use Decoy to get out more eggs for later rounds. Okay, so they've, they are running a similar Death Wish kind of thing that I set up a while ago. Yeah, let's, let's get out the Frightener now and move an egg, or RP, I don't really care. Let's just see how long we can drag this round on with no intention of winning, but the intention of just doing, like, kind of getting cards off. Okay. Um, we, we will want to fog eventually, but let's just use our fire elemental. Because now we look like we're really missing and we got them on the eggs, which is really good. Oh, but they're going to decoy their harpy. They could have just copied us from the beginning. They're only 14 points ahead and I think we may be able to take them over with spirit, but I'm not going to bother doing the maths. No, we'd tie, I think. Actually, no, if we hit the fog in a row, then we'd take over, yeah. But now nah, we aren't going to use our woodland spirit, which can use a regular fog. As we're not looking to win, we're just looking to kind of pressure them a bit. There is no escape. Ooh. Okay, that's interesting. They're trying to get rid of all the eggs. Um, right. Let's get an extra fog out into the equation. You know, we got all of these lovely choices, but we're going to go with the regular bog standard foglet just so you know. Now they could easily pass it to be honest. But I don't think they will. Getting tense here. Drum roll please. But I can't be bothered to do it, so you know just imagine one. They're gonna last all right. <laughs> oh boy. That's fun. Okay, so we have um six point carryover. They have seventeen, I think that is. That's just me guessing basically. Cause I've not really done the master very well. Let's see. Oh no, it's seventeen. Look at that, I'm a math genius. Um Let's get rid of, yeah, let's get rid of the fog because we've already got Woodland Spirit and Dagon There'll be nothing to pick up when oh, I'm boy. done with you. They're quite likely to pass after this because that's a lot of strength they got there. Now let's help it down. Get some eggs on the equation. Okay, the 
good news is they're not going to have any carryover and we're going to have six points. So we'll put down our fog. I really didn't plan on that I was that he was in the ranged drill and the close blades are up there. That's Necker Warrior. That's one more Foglets. So we can just take this round. Okay, we may be one card down and oh boy, we're gonna have to um play first, aren't we? This isn't nice, but I'm sure we can recover. Full faith. Okay, we're gonna use Johnny first. Peter Piper to Pink, get Prince Proxima, and Pack of Pickle Peppers by the Pontar. A lacerate. <laughs> That's hardly gonna help a bit. Oh, well. Okay, put down some foglets. Let's get let's get the ancient foglet out now so it starts getting a good amount of strength. And they can down another row of fog. So let's move our drowner to save our lovely foglet. They just why do they have that much fog? I just get Villain Trust and Murph down. So we can do something this game, because that's always good fun. Yeah, let's just dag on let's just dag on their foglets. Okay, so you know, we got good strength. Wait a second. If we lacerate our front row, that'll do ten with villain trust and love. So that lacerate did actually save us in the end. I take it back. I apologize. That lacerate is a hero unless that card breaks the chain. Nope, they're going for Dagon. <laughs> Villain Tresson Murph, you are a hero. Right, because of that I might make him the um, thumbnail part. I don't know. Be Villain Tresson Murph or a popular. I am not sure at the moment. Yo, I'll make it a foglet because that's... Oh, that was another five strength. Oh, they, they would not be able to put that down. That would have completely destroyed them. But boom, we got it there. And once I've done all this wibbly wobbly stuff, I have decided that because we fit 50 subs, I'm gonna open a single keg. Ahoy, ahoy, yeah, I've been saving up just for this friend. event. I knew it was coming sometime soon. Dun, dun, but I'm now ready to open this keg. And hopefully get a legendary. Common, um, yeah, four commons and a rare. Okay, right. Yeah, let's just go with ancient foglet. Let's just a foglet deck. And now I'll finish by showing you the deck that I made for this episode. Yeah, it's pretty bog standard. But if you like this, please like. And if you're new around here, subscribe. You know, we've already hit 50 subs. Let's see if we can get to. 75. That's not going to happen, but oh well.